Okay. Let's say you were in Ball Ground, Georgia, and you were doing some plowing and decided you needed a very specialized piece of equipment. Hey, Mr. Stansel, you got any horse collars? Yes, sir, sure have. Twelve to twenty-fours. If you need hoop cheese, plowshares, tenpenny nails, food for your dogs, cattle, chickens, or children, Broughton Stansel has it. The Stansel family was into the store business as early as 1912, and he and his brother Grady are still at it. It's the classic general store. If he hasn't got it, you don't need it. We bought uh, rabbits, chickens, eggs, and uh, butter, just anything they had to, uh, that's the way they bought their coffee and, well, any little thing they need. They'd bring uh, these yard chickens and yard eggs and butter. So we just bought it all and uh, so that's all gone now though. They, we sell that instead of buying it. There's a constant flow of folks in and out of the store from seven in the morning until seven at night. Mr. Stansel will no sooner bag up a week of groceries than he'll head for the door to take care of somebody with an empty gas tank. One of his daughters, Ann, just tries to keep the place straight, but she claims it's a hopeless job. Now, what we've seen so far is just part of the picture. There's the back room yet to go. Here, the Stancils keep the broadest assortment of everything I've ever run across. Feed for cats to catfish. If you're plowing with a tractor, they can help. And if you're using a mule, you've come to the right place. Do you find yourself keeping a lot of things that you figure you're never going to sell? Not too many. We do get just a few items we figure we'll never sell, but uh, sell one or two of it maybe and uh, you can get the rest of it. Not many. Try not to get on that hard stock too much. So you sell a lot of hames and, and single trees and horse collars? And well, plows. this year has been the biggest year we've ever had in that. I think everybody tried to plant a garden and uh, I don't know, we've sold by far more collars than we've ever sold before. A lot of need around here for a general store or a general merchandise store like yours? Oh, yeah. I don't know what a lot of them would do if it didn't have a. Well, it just have to drive maybe 8 to 15 miles to get to one. And uh, I don't know, it just makes it convenient and they know you've got it, why they, they just come in here extra. I guess that's the special thing about people like the Stancils. They're not just a store, they're neighbors. Ready. Would you like that wrapped? No, sir. I guess I'll just wear it home. <laughs> Outside of Ball Ground, Georgia, this is Andy Johnston. <laughs>